Hey guys, this is TF Lego 98 and today I'll be reviewing Studio Series Deluxe Class Dino. So first, taking a look at the paint and details. Um, the shoulders ha do have these shoulder wings that he had in the movie. Um, and also on the chest, unfortunately these are fake pieces, they're not actually the front of the car, which is actually situated right here on his shoulders. Um, also for the this part, oops, sorry, you can see that. Um, these parts of the front of the chest are painted, and also most of the top of the car is actually clear plastic which if you get this figure, you're gonna have to be a bit more careful around it. But if you apply some caution while transforming, I'm pretty sure it will, it will be fine. As the plastic they use seems to be pretty sturdy. Um, also the feet do have these little side bits that help with stability. And they also do have these little black, back, not black, back toes. And for the head, the head is really, really detailed. I'm gonna see if I can get my camera to focus. Um, the head, the eyes are picked out with some nice blue paint and there is a lot of silver paint in the rest of the head along with some black highlights near the back. And that's pretty much it for paint. Next, I'm gonna be moving on to articulation. So, for articulation, this figure is really, really good. Um, the head is just on a regular ball joint. The head can look up that far, look down that far, rotate side to side. And the shoulders, they are on ball joints. They can rotate the full, well, not really the full 360. Theoretically, they could, but these side back panels are getting in the way, so they can't really. And in here, there's a transformation joint, so the arm can kind of go up and down. And for the rest of the arm, there is a rotation at the bicep. There is a double jointed elbow. One is the intended joint, which goes really far on its own. And there also is this transformation joint that's on a soft ratchet, which can make it go even far even farther which is really really far so for the wrist rotation there is a wrist rotation right here um there's no hand mo movement which wasn't it really expected of a deluxe figure so the back wings they are on some joints there is a swivel right here and a hinge right here so the doors can angle kind of and there is no waist rotation, but the legs kick forwards that far, and they kick backwards pretty far too. They can kick out that far. Um, there is no thigh rotation, unfortunately, but there is a knee rotation with which works just as well. And they couldn't really have a thigh rotation because of the transformation. And for the knee, the knee bends this far, about 90 degrees, and the ankle tilts forward. So it might not seem like a lot of articulation, but you can use some of these joints in some really clever ways to get him into some really cool poses. For accessories, Dino only has two accessories, which are his arm-mounted swords. Um, they can just attach to these 5mm ports on the back of the arms. So you can just hinge the arms forward and take these and just kind of plug these in. Um, these work pretty well. I wish they were a bit larger because they're pretty tiny. But I'm pretty sure that wouldn't have really worked with the transformation. And they wouldn't have fitted into his vehicle mode. So I also kind of do wish he came with these those two... Um, whoopee thingies that he shot at Hatchet during the chase scene in Dark of the Moon. But they're probably, Hasbro's probably going to release Hatchet someday. And Hatchet might come with those, so I'm going to hope he does come with those. Because they're a pretty important part of Dino's character. But overall for accessor accessories, I can't pronounce, sorry. For accessories, Dino is pretty good. So, for his transformation, 
it's not too simple, but it's not too complex either. Um, the feet, they just fold up here. And then you're going to want to take these arms and just fold them out to allow some clearance. And then you're going to want to grab onto this part of the thigh. And then remove this outer wheel cover. And just kind of pull this out from the slider joint until it kind of clicks into place. And then you're going to want to do the same on the other side. It's kind of difficult. But you just, you're going to want to hear a soft click as it clicks, as it clicks into place. And then you're going to want to use the knee rotation and rotate the legs all the way around. Next, you're going to want to grab this part of the chest and then pull everything forward to untab it. Pull the head down and just leave it like this for now. So then you're going to want to take this part on the back, flip it down, and then kind of grab onto the door wings and unsandwich everything which is a little difficult just because of how tight the joints are. But after you're, you've done that, you're gonna want to take this panel, which is the front of the car, and fold it all the way down. Then take this, kind of ratchet it up. And then you're going to want to take the arms on these joints, slide them forward, and then rotate this all the way around. And then, you're going to want to take these parts and rotate them around. Don't really tap them in yet because then you're going to want to rotate the arms around and then just kind of collapse them into the inside of the car so they can tap together and then do the same thing on the other side and then just rotate the hands around. Um, after this part, um, the instructions say you can tab these weapons into the inside of the car. I've tried it, it works, but not super well, as the blades kind of bump some of parts into the bottom of the car so it doesn't roll as well. So I don't really recommend that you do that, but it's still really cool that they managed to incorporate weapons, such good weapon storage into a figure like this. So then you're going to want to take these tabs and port them into here. So you kind of just have to, whoops, you have to wedge them in without rotating that around. And then you just kind of squish them in there. Like so. And then you're probably going to want to like get this out of the way somehow. And then do the same thing on the other side until it snaps into place. And then take these hands. I'm pretty sure I haven't ratcheted them in as far as they should be. So they haven't tabbed in. But there are these little tiny tabs on the hands. And there's these little tiny little slots. And they're just going to match up and tab into each other. Oops, this half isn't tabbed in properly. Now it is. So now you're going to want to straighten this part out. Take this bit. Um, fold it backwards. It is going to click. That part of the transformation is pretty scary. Because this entire roof piece is clear plastic, like I said before. And it might be a bit fragile, but overall it's been pretty strong. You're just going to want to untab this and rotate it around. And then, a step I forgot, you have to kind of take this head assembly and you have to do that before you tab the hands in. You have to kind of wedge it under the hands and then you can tab the hands in. Like so. And after you have done that, you might have to do some minor adjustments to the vehicle mode so it all fits in together. And now that all this part is fitting in, you're going to want to take the legs, fold them forward, take the other leg, fold it forward. And then for the wings, the door wings, you're going to want to take this panel, flip it out, 
take this panel and also flip it out and then kind of sandwich this panel in between here. It's kind of difficult to do on the first time, but after you've done it a couple times, it's pretty easy. And then there's this tiny little tab that's going to go into a slot on the inside of the door, like so. So you're just going to want to tab that in. And I'm pretty sure I've transformed something in this wrong, so I'm going to go fix that. It turns out I didn't really transform it wrong, I just didn't tap in the hands correctly, so the feet were kind of sticking out more than they should. And then for the other foot, you're, you're just going to do the same thing as the first. And align that all up until you can kind of bring this upwards and tab it in, like so. Then just kind of click this in, unless it's already been clicked in. And then use the same tiny little foot tab and tab it in a little bit more. And that's pretty much it, other than this back panel. This back panel is pretty difficult to do. So you're just going to want to take this sidecar wheel panel and fold it up until this tab slides into there, which is kind of difficult. I find it sometimes easier if you do both sides at the same time, or one side first. So you're going to just want to tab this in. Oops. I'm going to pause the camera for a second until I can figure so, this out. After like 15 minutes, I finally got this tabbed in. Um, the trick is you just have to kind of separate both halves at the same time and just wedge it in. And then you kind of have to line these up just right or else they won't go in. So that's probably the most difficult part of the transformation. But when you're done, you're left with a really, really nice car mode. So taking a look at the car mode details, the front windshield is clear plastic. I kind of would have preferred black plastic because all you can see is these robot bits. But it's not the worst clear plastic syndrome. And the wheels, they, some of them roll play pretty well. Like these back wheels roll well. But the front ones, they just don't really roll as well as they should. Um, I'm just going to kind of adjust these pieces here and now they roll really well. So I think it kind of depends on how you transform it. Because this part is pushing this wheel into the back of the gear. And it's kind of rubbing up. So I kind of have to like pull this part up to make the wheel roll properly but overall it rolls or slides pretty well on the surface and yeah i'm pretty happy with this vehicle mode um it doesn't have the lamborghini logo because hasbro couldn't get the license for lamborghini because it was too expensive so yeah but it's still a pretty cool looking car mode okay so quick update when i said lamborghini earlier i meant ferrari sorry i just got those two mixed up so yeah that's pretty much it for this video subscribe for more bye